Today, I would like to introduce very intelligent combined scissors, which can use in any plastic through the combined system. For this model, I would use 4E and 4EB. Actually, hair cut can be easily under the process that cutting and texturizing can be done at the same time. For cutting, you can cut repeatedly with the texturizing scissors. Also, you can emphasize the texturizing at the needed places to present the better effect of hairstyle. Well, haircut is just that easy to do. It works on dry or wet hair. No worries about using such tool. It can be used on point cutting as well. Hair volume removed depends on varied inclinations. It won't cut off too much hair or make hair frozen. Like this model, it will not be appropriate to use texturizing scissors with narrow teeth because the hair would stand up easily. Therefore, for the strong hair, I recommend everyone avoid texturizing the surface or texturizing too much. It may look frazzy if you do so. After blow drying, you will find the hair shrink up a bit. This model's hair is strong. So you need to control it carefully. I will use 4EG, 4E, and 4EB for texturizing the cutting. You will see the fullness after blow drying. Mostly, we cut hair dry on our hairline. This is because you need to pay attention to the length on the outline of the hair. Sometimes when the hair is pulled or too weak, the hair will shrink. It may not be your desired result. Next, 
I will use the Curve Scissors, which just launched this year. It can be used at multiple angles and is preferred for creating curved lines. For the more hair volume, we can texturize first, but not using curved scissors because it will take too much time to texturize with curved scissors. Like this part, you can use 4 end curved scissors directly for showing the hair all white. It will be very pretty curve of each cutting. Of course, you need to think about what kind of style that you would like to present. In addition, you can use the opposite side of curve scissor to do a different haircut. For the super thick hair, you must use EA to do the texturize on the scalp for removing the redundant hair completely. Every hairstylist understands the action and the concept of the texturizing. However, it depends on how stylists do to satisfy the customers. Like this model has more hair than the hair stylist. On the other hand, for the less hair people, they need to texturize the hair roots to support the hair without being flat. If texturize the hair correctly, it creates support to blow dry with volume, body, and a bonus. Texturizing the hair roots is a very easy way to have hair volume. It makes better effects with the combination of 4EA and 4EB because supported points have space in between. Please focus on how I texturize the hair roots in order to avoid the hair sticking out. The hairstylist needs to get into the further step to understand the texturizing. It's hairstylist's duty to mind the details and let customers enjoy the fantastic surfaces. When you push up the hair, it shows the dimensions no matter with or without a gradation. And I don't like the online in gradation. Nowadays, customers like to DIY. I think this is wrong that customers bought wigs home and to burn and color by themselves. Every hairstylist should unleash their hairdressing skills and let customers come to you whenever they need a haircut or a cut. Making a curve on the control line includes the model's left and the right side of the face. In order to make a simple and a personalized hairstyle. And Make some modification in the control line to make the face look slimmer, better, and more stereoscopic. <laughs>